the technology. Better. Stronger. Faster. Welcome to the Thunder Basin Railroad Technology Series. In this video, we're going to look at an insulated rail section and how it can be used for block occupancy. Here you can see a wheel set which shorts out the insulated rail to the outside rail. Here we have the block occupancy detection circuit. We've applied 12 volts DC to the insulated rail section. We've also put in a circuit that has a dirty rail simulator in it, and that switch will be used to show what happens when intermittent wheel contact occurs. Here we show the circuit when the insulated rail is not occupied shown by the open switch at the top. In this photo, the circuit is energized when a car or locomotive enters the insulated rail joint. You see the circuit flowing through a relay via a transistor, which activates the 5 volt control circuit The dirty track simulator, by the momentary switch in this circuit, will show what happens when we press that and we momentarily interrupt the circuit. The relay does not drop out. The 5 volt signal to the control circuit is still there. In and out, we continue to simulate dirty track until at such point that the block occupancy is now unoccupied and the circuit is finished. The relay drops out, we have zero volts on the control circuit, and the capacitor filtration circuit that we have in there continually degrades, but you'll notice it does not turn on the transistor. So I hope that this little demonstration has shown how an electronic circuit can be built and installed that can be incorporated to trigger an Arduino control system, which in turn will activate any DC or AC appliances that we feel we need to do that too. Thank you.